Journal Boundary 2 and several other units on this campus that uh, beginning tonight will continue through tomorrow afternoon and early evening and all day Saturday. Uh, a series of lectures and seminars uh, dealing with the work and influence of the late Edward W. Said. Um, the topic and dates are chosen in part because this time happens to correspond with both the 10th anniversary of Edward Said's death and, roughly speaking, the 20th anniversary of the publication of this book, Culture and Imperialism, uh, an important book, somewhat less often cited than the earlier masterpiece, Orientalism, but a book which Said believed to have been the completion and, in some ways, correction of the project of Orientalism itself. We're fortunate <laughs> that we were able to gather not perhaps every single scholar of Said that we might have wanted to gather for this weekend, but nonetheless, a very impressive cast of people who either knew and worked with Edward Said or whose own work continues in the exemplary modes and style of Said's career and ways of being a critic and intellectual. So I hope you will come and join us for the rest of these events, which will begin in room uh, 501, just beneath us, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, with a lecture by Anna Mufti, to be followed by a reading and discussion <coughs> by the great prize-winning novelist uh, Nuruddin Farah, who was also a friend of Said. And in the same room on Saturday, a series of uh, seminars and discussions with scholars from around the world, from Hong Kong, Europe, North America, and elsewhere. So please come. Let me also take a moment to thank some of the people who have made all of this possible, beginning with uh, N. John Cooper, the Dean of Arts and Sciences at the University of Pittsburgh, whose generosity has been fundamental for this entire event. I also thank institutionally the Humanities Center, Jonathan Arak particularly, for his help with this, and other institutions on campus, Global Studies, Cultural Studies, the English Department, and certain professors who, out of their own research resources have helped to support us. I mentioned again Jonathan Arick, Ronald Judy, uh, Lynn Emanuel. And if I've omitted anyone, I apologize. There will be other chances uh, to mention your name. 